Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today again you'll just be seeing my hands. Um, I really wanted to do a flip through with my journal just because I actually have had this journal for an entire year now. So you can see it's very bulky. It's actually bursting at the seams. Um, and this was originally my travel journal. So anytime I went on an adventure, went traveling, I decided to do a little journal spread. Um, but lately I've been getting lots of ideas off Instagram. So I've just been doing like an aesthetic kind of journal spread. I've also been putting things in from my pen pals um, and I've also just been working with a lot of different stationery so if I found really nice stationery I would journal with it too. So it was a um, adventure journal so as you can see it says we have nothing to lose and a world to see and I really love that because I do love getting outdoors I do love hiking I love adventures I love camping so that really really stood out to me that quote um, so this was my adventure journal and then I kind of went a bit rogue at the end so I just sort of put everything I liked in there so I'm gonna do a big flip through so it's gonna be at the pace of me talking so this might be a longer video today um, but I hope you enjoy alrighty so let's open it up okay so I didn't do anything on the first page just because I had no idea what to do and then I got so much anxiety I'm like ah, I'll just leave it white because I don't want to wreck it so the first spread oh that's not the first spread <laughs> So the first spread is actually a camping trip I did with my partner and as you can see here I wrote the date which I'm very thankful for so it was the 10th of the 7th 17 so it was oh I thought actually it was in October that I started this but it wasn't so I've had this journal for a lot longer than a year. So I was camping in Coldale and I've actually made lots of journal with me videos and I've got a whole playlist if you want to see me making these spreads. But this is when I had my Polaroid camera so I got lots of good Polaroids there of us. This is when I went on a trip to around Narrabeen Lake so I actually live right next to the lake. And I just did a really simple spread, I made a little boat, I made a little video and... Um, this sort of looks like my bike, so I always go bike riding and jogging around the lake, so the lake means a lot to me. What is next? So next actually was another little adventure. We went um, on a road trip on the long weekend, and it was also Dan's birthday. So this was probably, yep, it was um, a day after his birthday, so the 4th of the 10th. Um, and we went to Brooklyn, so I actually cut out things from the little travel, um, do you know the little travel brochures you can get? Oh, and also, it was, um, the vote. Vote for gay marriage. So, I actually did a lot of documentary, t uh, documenting this week in terms of actually what was going on in the world, um, which I feel like I should do a little bit more of. So this is when we get into my Tokyo trip. So I actually brought my journal to Japan, which I'm very, very happy I did. And I kept a lot of like my tickets. Um, this was from a cup on the plane. Um, I think this was from, yeah, this was from a lady that I met up with in Japan. She watched my channel. So I've got a few um, spreads from Japan. So this was actually a fun one. I did a... Um, what's it called? A video about eating Japanese candy. So I kept a lot of the packaging because because I thought it was so fun and colourful. This is like a museum ticket. So this is just me just messing around with my spreads. These are things I collected from the Ghibli Museum. So I am obsessed with um, Ghibli. If you don't already know, so I've kept a lot of just um, general like ticket things. Um, and I don't know what's in this. I think that's another, yeah, that's another um, card from the lady I met with in Japan. And this was actually from um, the bag I got from the gift store. So, yes, massive Ghibli fan if you don't know. Oh, I missed a page today. Yeah, here we go. So this was my last um, Japan spread. And because I went into autumn, I also wanted to document that. Um, and yeah, I got this beautiful postcard. This was also from a place I went to, some tickets. So I thought that was just really fun to document the autumn um, season in Japan. This was actually just a spread I did from things I got in the mail from my pen pals. So all of these things actually came in the mail. Um, and yeah, I really wanted to start putting things in that I got from my pen pals. 
I love, love, love this. I really want to buy a Polaroid camera, but a big square one because I love the look of that so much. Again, this is when I started getting a bit more crafty, so I'm not sure if I actually went on a hike. It looks like I've gone somewhere, but I actually think I was inspired after a hike to create this spread. I can't remember. Maybe there's a few more. Yeah, that one's a hike. So maybe I started going for hikes around this time because it looks very naturey. This one was definitely a hike because I collected these um, wildflowers and I also did a dinner in an igloo with some friends so I actually kept the Polaroid from that although you can't see it very well. Um, what's that? Oh yeah, the National Park so this is definitely my hiking page. I've made a spread with this and I also um, did a little bit of watercolour up the top here. So this page I was actually inspired from um, an Instagrammer. So an Instagrammer has an account and I was getting really inspired by her really like white sort of simplistic pages although I didn't really recreate it. Um, I tried to have a go. She has very vintage theme and she does lots of like beautiful like um, whiter spreads. <laughs> I know like I didn't really explain that very well but all her spreads are beautiful. I'll put her Instagram link in the description box below. So I was just trying to get a bit more creative in this one and try to make it just beautiful vintage-y, but <laughs> I didn't get the outcome that I was hoping for. And I was sort of messing around with uh, my wax seals down here as well. So again, this is me getting more creative, and I was inspired again um, from um, at, uh, Instagram journal pages. Sorry, that was like a mouthful for me. Um, this is a bookmark I think I actually got from a pen pal, so I thought that was really cool. Again, that's from a pen pal. I'm pretty sure the letters and things in this um, envelope is from a pen pal. I actually got this envelope from a new store that I fell in love with around my area. Um, beautiful washi tape. This actually was from Japan, this leaf here. And also a playlist from a pen pal as well. So... This spread was actually a spread I did quite recently because, as you know, I actually have been journaling lots more recently and I kind of just wanted to make it a bit more whimsical. Um, lots of sunflowers and yellow, so it was actually from, I think, a dream I had and I wanted to put it all down on paper. So this was more of a therapeutic um, journal page and I was looking for clarity <laughs> and I thought this girl looked um, quite similar to me. So I put her there and I kept the yellow hair themed running through. This again was quite recent. I did this recently. So as you can see, I didn't do a lot at the very beginning. I had like three spreads of my adventure, Tokyo, and then I started doing a lot of these ones recently. So I want to journal a lot next year because I really enjoy it and I really like keeping it all in a nice book. So this is when I got these beautiful stickers from, I think it's Project Cubic or something. I've mentioned it. In previously in one of my videos and also throughout my Instagram so I'm pretty sure it's Project Cubic um, and yeah I was just messing around with journaling I was messing around with trying to print things on the page so this was more just trying to figure out what style I sort of wanted to journal around so I was just kind of figuring out my style again this is me figuring out my style a lot of these things are from pen pals um, and a lot of these things I also collected from my granddad's house. So this lace here, this um, tag on the top of a lace um, packaging. And I also wanted to mess around. I don't know if I like this sort of style better or this style. This one I've kind of covered the entire page where these ones I've sort of left a little bit of um, white and page behind. I quite like collaging when the whole page is covered. But I'm still figuring it out. This is also a spread that um, I used a lot of things from my pen pals. I think actually this was all from my pen pals to be um, at memory what I can think of. So yeah, lots of beautiful things. I think I got a big package and I just wanted to use everything in my journal. So I actually think I like this style of journaling where I'm just collaging with lots of different things from pen pals. Um, again, these are things that I was actually going to file away, but again, just things from my pen pals. Like I included a little bit of a flip book and all like some notes and things that you guys have sent me. Um, again, these are just things from pen pals. 
I really wanted to mess around with this quite European looking page around here, like very vintage um, European sort of looking. Um, and yeah, I was just sort of messing around with what style I wanted. And again, a few of these things are from Pen Pals as well. Um, this is the one I did on Halloween. So I actually created this on my vlog, my Halloween vlog. Um, I actually like this style quite a lot that I've kind of um, collaged in the middle and not gone all the way around to the edges. So yeah, I'm still just messing around with my style and seeing what I like. Um, it's very much a collage. I don't really write that much. Um, I, as you can see here, um, I tried to do a little bit of writing, but I've got really messy handwriting. So I kind of liked involving things that Pen Pals sent me that are written because people are, have a lot nicer handwriting. Um, but yeah, this is definitely an autumn theme, as you can see. And then lastly is my Halloween spread. So again, you can flip this open. This is from a flip book that someone sent me, and I wanted just to keep one page. And this is just a card that someone sent me as well. And this was done on Halloween. So I thought that was very appropriate. So I might make a Christmas spread and also keep documenting my adventures and... Obviously, when I go to different countries, I want to document those. Um, and anytime I go camping or anything, I want to document those as well. So, thanks so much for watching my video today. I hope you got a lot of journaling ideas. I do have a journal playlist if you want to check it out. And I will do another big flip through next year if you guys want to see it. Thanks for watching. Bye.